Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Steph, but in a completely different location. My bathroom. How classy. Today I'm finally filming my long-awaited, very much requested curled hair tutorial. Every time I curl my hair, this is what I do. I'm gonna show you how I achieve it, what products I use, curling iron, stuff like that. And I hope it's informative, but I'm not a hairstylist, so sorry if it's not. This has just been very requested, and I feel like it's finally time. I literally am about to go to school. I was like, might as well just do my hair before school and film it, so. Okay, so this is my natural hair when it dries out of the shower. It's like very straight. Sometimes it's super wavy, sometimes there's curls underneath, and then sometimes it's straight like this. So I'm gonna start curling it, but before I get into it, I wanna talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is glassesusa.com. I'm so excited about it. And you guys always, always, always ask me where my glasses are from, literally in every video that I wear glasses in so here is finally me showing you and telling you where they're from so by cutting out the middleman glassesusa.com offers high quality prescription glasses and sunglasses at up to 70% off retail prices so you can shop for all your eyewear needs online at affordable prices without leaving your house does it get any better than that? I would, don't want to sit through an eye doctor appointment just to get really expensive glasses. I have four pairs to show you and they are so cute as you can already tell from the ones I have on which I've gotten so many questions about this and I can finally tell you they're from glassesusa.com. And how I found the perfect ones for me is by using the virtual try on tool which you can literally put glasses on their website on your face like virtually and see what they would look like so you can see like what's flattering and what's not glassesusa.com offers over 9,000 styles of glasses and sunglasses you'll definitely find one you like like they have in-house brands they have designer brands i got a designer pair i'm going to show you you can find every conceivable style and color as well as specialty glasses like for sports safety glasses kids glasses anything like that and almost all pairs can be ordered with prescription and or the blue light blocking coat which i know is super in right now a complete pair of glasses or sunglasses starts at only $30. $30. And basic prescription lenses are included with every frame, even the premium brands like Ray-Ban and Oakley. And you can add your prescription almost any of the frames, even sunglasses. Okay, so first is this pair. I'm gonna put the names of all of them on the screen, but oh my god, my face. <laughs> But this is what they look like. I'm obsessed with these. These have been the ones I've been reaching for most. It's not like, oh my god, her glasses like are interrupting her entire face. It's like they're just subtle and I love them. Okay, these ones are Ray-Bans. These are the designer ones I got and I'm obsessed with these. No, you don't even understand. Like these just make me feel so like smart and sophisticated. I posted a TikTok wearing these and everyone's like, oh my god, did you get new glasses? Like those are so cute. I'm like, yep. I know, stay tuned for the video where I talk about them. Okay, next I got these brown ones because because I have brown glasses, but I'm not obsessed with them. But these, as you can tell, I really like this like circular shape. Love these. These are like my bookish vibe glasses. Like I feel like whenever I'm gonna go to the library or I'm gonna go to the bookstore, I'm like these are these are the go-tos, you know? I just love all of them. Like I have nothing bad to say. And then last but not least, these ones were a little bit out of my comfort zone because they're a color. I'm usually not the biggest fan of wearing colors, but these are acceptable because they're like green. I don't know. I just felt like a little bit adventurous and I kind of obsessed with it. Like it's kind of giving me like first grade teacher vibes, but like in a good way. What are we thinking? Do we I love it. I love it. I'm literally blind without the light. I can't see anything when I don't have my glasses on. Thank you so much Glasses USA for sponsoring today's video. If you guys want to check them out, which you definitely should, everything will be linked in the description for you to check out. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. Without further ado, let's get into the hair tutorial. You guys will never guess what just happened. I just dropped my entire Starbucks on the floor. I literally want to cry. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. I literally have to leave for class in 40 minutes and I'm doing a hair tutorial. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just gonna brush through my hair while I talk. I've been putting off filming this video because curling my hair takes a lot of effort. I haven't done recently. I literally haven't curled my hair in probably like two weeks. Today is the day. It's happening. And this is so requested on my TikTok. It's ridiculous. And I'm like, okay, I just need to give the people what they want already. Why is my hair so staticky right now? Anyways, let me plug in my curling iron and tell you all the things I use. I actually don't have heat protectant right now, but if I did have heat protectant, I would be spraying it all over my head right now. But what I do use is this Color Wow Raise the Root Thicken Lift Spray. The cure for flat hair adds height and volume without dulling color. I got this on Amazon. I saw like some TikTok hairstyle dude using it. I don't know if it works, but it doesn't not work, you know? So I always just put it like towards the top of my hair before I start curling it and then I also do it after just because I love having volume at the top of my head. I hate when my hair looks flat. Oh my God, done. <laughs> then let me tell you about the curling iron I use. It's probably what you've been waiting to see. You're probably like shut up and show us the curling iron. This is the Conair Infinity Pro curling iron. It looks like this. 
It's got a rainbow barrel. No idea the thickness, probably like an inch. I don't know. I think I literally got it at Target, maybe. They probably have it on Amazon. They probably have it wherever they sell curling irons. I don't even section my hair. I have like not the thickest hair, but it's not thin. I do not section it, which I probably should. So this is the technique I do. Is I get as close to the root as possible. Obviously the hair in the front is shorter. And I just wrap around and this part is layered, so. And what I do though is like kind of like stretch the hair out along the barrel. I don't let it like bunch up. I feel like I didn't show that well. I have a specific technique that will make or break your hair. Okay, wait, let me take this out and see how it's like really curly. Don't worry, we fix that. This is the technique that will make or break it. So say you get your section, right? You have to make sure that your barrel goes flat under it. And when you wrap around, you don't let the hair like twist, okay? You keep it flat all the way. And then you do that again flat sorry i'm showing this bad but you see how it's flat along it's not like twisted like some people go like this and like twist it around no if you do that the curls look so bad this is how i get like mine to be like loose good waves is that technique please trust me and i know my hair is kind of long so not all of it fits on like when i go for my roots so and see how that just makes like a can you even see this it's so hard to show with dark hair and then i do the end same thing so it's like you have to not make sure that the strand isn't getting twisted at all. It remains flat along the entire barrel for the entire time you're wrapping it around. And then I usually hold it not for that long, but long enough. And then it looks like that, like the most perfect curl, but not like a coil, you know? And that's the technique. Um, and then I alternate. So I do the front strands all away from my face, but once I start getting a little farther back, this is how I get like some volume is then I switch directions in some of the strands. Um, so I put the barrel in front instead of behind, but I still make sure the piece is flat against the barrel. I feel like I hope I explained that well because it's literally detrimental if you don't do that. And that's what that looks like. Like see how perfect that is? My hair holds a curl pretty well only with this iron. It totally depends on the iron. If I use like a friend's curling iron that's different than this one, my curls will be flat by the end of the night. Something about this iron, Conair, please sponsor me because I'm putting everyone on and telling them my hair will actually hold the curl with this iron. So if you think, oh, my hair is too straight and stubborn, it doesn't hold, try this iron. Oh, I also put it on the hottest setting. I didn't say that. Okay, I'm gonna do this side of my head and come back and then show you how I do the other side of my head. Also, I just make sure, even though I don't section off my hair, I still curl only pieces that come from the same place on my root. Like, I won't take a piece from underneath and on top and try to curl it together. I'll just make sure like everything, like see this whole piece is coming from the same part of my head. And then when I go underneath, I'll make sure the same part is all from underneath, just so the curls are all, all the way to the root. Okay, this side is officially curled. Um, it's giving very founding father going to church in sixth grade vibes, but while it's still curled like this I hairspray it. I have no hairspray preference I literally just grab whatever one I see at the drugstore, but this is a Garnier volume hairspray I usually just get one that's maximum hold and says something about volume and I spray it from kind of far away So it doesn't get crunchy while it's still in these like little ringlets. And that's that for now. I leave that side to marinate while I do the other side. I feel like this is self-explanatory, but also I'm just gonna say it anyway in case it's not. I take the curling iron in my other hand now. So you have to be ampedestrious, ampedestrious, <laughs> whatever that word is. And you put it upside down and you take the hair in your other hand and you curl it away from your face. Same technique of not letting it bunch up. So that's the alternate technique for the other side. I know when I was younger, before I like really knew what I was doing for my hair, I didn't do this. I'm gonna do one towards my face because then when I do it towards my face for the alternating, I have to grab it in the other hand and I still hold it upside down but now this part is like the hardest for me <laughs> and then it will be like that towards my face. So that's what I do for the alternating on this side. And then I'm just gonna do this for the rest of this side and then come back and that's when we start making it pretty. Right now it is not pretty, but it will be. So let me finish this side. Okay, both sides are done. You know, little tiny ringlet curls. This is what it looks like before I start making it all fancy and cute and wavy and adding volume and making it better, which I feel like is the key to success here. So a lot of people would be like, oh, like I'm done curling my hair at this point. 
but no, this is only the beginning. So first thing I do, run my fingers through it completely. Nothing new, but I'm also gonna flip my head upside down and do it, which is important too, because I don't know what it does, but it feels important to me. Like mixing all the curls together and shake it out. <laughs> then look like this, which is still not what I want. This is another key step. You do need another tool. Um, I mean, this step doesn't have to be mandatory. I'm gonna tell you what I used to do before I had this. So I would be at this step and I would take my straightening iron and I would straighten the ends on a low heat, not so they were pinned straight, but so that they were loose. I would do it to the ends of every strand. So if I have a straight, if I have a shorter piece up here, I would make sure I get the end of that. I would kind of just run the strainer over all the curls so they were wavy instead of curly. But I've come up with a better technique since then. I discovered this product through TikTok and it's the Revlon blow drying hairbrush. This is the new one that just came out. Basically it's a blow dryer. So you could use it after the shower, which I usually do too, because it helps my hair be less frizzy. I'm gonna show you what I do, but it's gonna be very loud. So I basically just like this piece, I curled away from my face. So I'll do this, but with the blow drying setting on, you know? And I keep rotating the brush away from my face. So let me show you. <laughs> I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of before I blow dry this side. I go in and spray again as I'm pulling the hair apart. Again, from far away, so it doesn't get crunchy. I usually go back in and I'll touch up like a bunch of pieces. I have to unplug my light though, because I don't have enough outlets for this, so. No ring light. <laughs> it looks so good and this lasts so long. Um, but I'm gonna go in and recurl some of the top pieces that I made a little bit too straight, like this. I love the things heating up. I'm actually just gonna do the other side. So this is what it looks like after I blow it out. It's just a lot looser. The top gets flat, so I go in and recurl the top, like I said. I'm usually away, starting really close to the root, and I won't go all the way down, I'll leave the ends out. Everyone always asks me how I get volume in my hair, and I honestly have really flat hair. It's just like, I try so hard not to. So this is just everything I can recommend. The front, I feel like, makes or breaks it, and right now my bangs are not cooperating, but this is usually somewhat of what it would look like when I'm done. I'm not loving my bang piece. If you didn't know, I had bangs like two months ago and they already grew out so much. They just do not cooperate, but like if you don't have those or you know how to style them, then it would look good. But mine kind of just looks like this. But yeah, this is how I do my curly hair routine. Let me put on my ring light actually. Okay, so this with the light on, everything. I don't know how helpful this was, but that is how I curl my hair for everyone that's ever asked. But I haven't figured out a way to just curl my hair only using one heat source to make it look like this because it always just gets too curly or it doesn't last if I don't hold it on the barrel long enough or whatever. So this is how I get long lasting volume curls. I do my hair like this, like why well, I used to do it all the time. Now I've gotten kind of lazy, but yeah, this is like if I'm going out and I want to look nice, this is what I'll do to my hair. So I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope this was informative. I'll try to remember to link everything I mentioned in the description box, as well as all the information about Glasses USA. You should definitely go check them out. Thank you to them for sponsoring today's video again. Also in the process of this video, I did burn my hand. Um, so be careful when you're doing this. Yeah, sorry if we don't have the same hair types, so this won't work for you. This is just what I do and what works for me. And I hope it would work for you, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye.